soul family what's going on this is the phoenix cloud tarot thank you so much for joining me my name is isa i'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and i'm doing the darn thing today for cancer sun moon rising venus and a cross watcher how's it going guys good to see you i am coming off a little bit of a vacation which was really really nice kind of just you know a staycation if you will uh yep your girl got a little bit of a tan and a different hair color we just never know what's gonna go on every time you tune in do we no so uh anyway guys this is gonna be the reading for cancer uh for july 16th to the 31st so we're going out to the end of july this is going to be very, very general, so please keep that in mind. What that means is that some of the messages may resonate, some may not. Um, so take what does and leave what doesn't, okay? And if nothing tickles your pickle at all, then definitely check uh, your moon and rising. And if those don't do it for you, if there's nothing there for you as well, then check uh, another reader because I just may not be your person. And that's perfectly okay, guys. We know how it goes, all right, as readers. Anything you need to know about me is gonna be in the description box below, like Facebook, Instagram, my website, all of that good stuff, okay? And if you're watching this video and you like this video, please go ahead and like it. And if you really, really like it, please go ahead, subscribe, become part of the tribe. I am happy to have you here. And I wanna say, guys, I'm coming up on my year anniversary being here on YouTube and I just want to express my gratitude and my thanks to everybody who has been supporting me through this year, the people that have been subscribed and following. I truly, truly appreciate it. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I know I went a little long today. Anyway, Cancer. So I am kind of going back since we're coming up on a year. I'm going back to sort of my original kind of structure of doing the readings and I'm using the Wisdom of the Oracle, which is one of my all-time favorite decks. And the first card I got for you guys is Peace. It's a 23, but what this is telling me when I add it up to a five is that maybe there's been some conflict happening uh, within your mind, within your home, somewhere in your life, okay? So what you're looking for and what you really want now is peace, either that or that's what's coming in the second half of July. And this could be also planetary for a lot of you, all right? Because um, it's been a shit show. Let's just get honest with ourselves about all the retrogrades, all the damn planets, all the alignments, all the freaking eclipses, all the damn moons. I'm over it, all right? <laughs> like what in the actual heck, right? So, um, yeah, you guys are really either seeking peace or you're coming into a time that's finally peaceful because maybe there's been some sort of uproar in your life. I don't doubt it. I think that's been happening for a lot of people. Sudden realizations, arguments and miscommunications, especially because we legit just pulled out a Mercury retrograde yesterday, which was the 12th and doing this on the 13th. Um, and even I, you know, we still have that shadow period afterward where we're still sort of dealing with some of that energy, it's maybe some miscommunications a little bit. Okay. So you guys are looking for the peace. Okay. Go get you peace. Um, we have here a 28, which adds up to a 10. It's about beginnings and endings, right? And this is the building blocks card. This is all about, for me, what I'm feeling for you guys is restructuring something or building something new, starting over again. So maybe some of you have had a really turbulent kind of time happening through part of July, even the end of June. But what this is saying to me is that it's time to rebuild, right? So could have been some financial stuff too, maybe moving out, things like that. It's time for you guys to sort of regroup, regather, and restructure things this could be in mind body spirit this could be in the physical sense of like literally moving um <clears throat> getting jobs getting your financial situation together this could be starting over in a relationship it could be a lot of different things and it can also be endings but i think the biggest message here is that you guys are getting what it takes to make something happen. I don't know why that's coming through for me the way it is, but it is. Like you're understanding foundational energy and like 
how that works, right? How that works for you. And <clears throat> it's like in order for us to understand how to be in relationship, like we have to understand what the foundations of relationship are, right? Their trust, their love, integrity, whatever it is for you guys, okay? But there's sort of that like fundamental stuff that I think you guys are getting really clear about, right? So if there's some some way that you thought about something in the past or you did something in the past, I think you've had a period of time to sort of see now that there's some rebuilding or restructuring that can be done, okay? I sort of consider that a little bit of like a tower, right? Not that anything like completely awful's happened and it doesn't have to be awful for a tower, right? Towers are good, they bring good things. All right, let's jump right into the reading, guys. I am going to use my Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot because, I don't know, I feel a little wise today or something. I don't know. I'm feeling a little bit like myself again. And let me tell you what, guys, I just want to be vulnerable for a second. Whew, Lord, when I tell you the last couple of months have been challenging for your girl i mean wow when spirit when you're ready to do some stuff for yourself the stuff that pops off the things that come at you the the towers you didn't see the um you know the, the losing the job all of this stuff has been really really huge it's affected me in a lot of ways um and so that vacation was very well needed to just sort of ground myself and wrap my head back into myself because i was not feeling like myself i was like which planet is isa on right now okay for real all right guys let's check in and see what's going on with you spirit what are the messages you have for cancer please July 16th to the 31st. What do you want to talk about with cancer? Oh, cancer. Oh boy. Okay, so we have out a Knight of Wands. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy and we have it with the chariot. Okay, so um, either some of you are moving forward like very, very passionately into whatever it is you're up to in your life um, and just really taking the initiative in a very creative sort of energy. Um, or some of you are like moving away from playa playa. Okay, uh, I'm not going to go there just yet. We're going to clarify. So stick around because, you know, uh, we get a little more information when we start clarifying. But what else do you have for us, Spirit? What else do you have for Cancer, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher for Cancer's highest good. Thank you. Okay, yeah. So um, I want to say that if, if we're talking about a relationship here, somebody is really trying to move away from somebody because they want to be in a happy and fulfilled relationship. I feel like somebody could have been a player here. Um, you know, with Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, it could be that, that, sign um, we have the chariot cancer energy which is what we're in right now uh, cancer um, and moving toward a ten of pentacles okay wanting to move forward on this even maybe wanting to w put the work in so to speak like taking action because wands are all about action inspiration passion right feeling really passionate about moving forward in a relationship for some for others i feel like it's like you're dealing with somebody who's a player and you want to get away from this person because you want to have that experience of the ten of pentacles like you can't have that with a player because they're always on to the next step or the next move right so you are feeling more grounded some of you could actually be blocked in moving forward as well but the ten of pentacles capricorn virgo taurus energy deals very much with the home family okay wanting that it's like this is your real desire all right let's talk about cancer some more spirit what else what else do you have here for cancer july 16th to the 31st what else does cancer need to know <clears throat> You have an offer coming through here that you need to think about, okay? Uh, we have Page of Pentacles with the Hanged Man, all right? Be wise about whatever offer is coming through here for you, Cancer. This could be a job offer, and it could be an offer of stability from somebody, but if it's an offer of stability from somebody, yeah, okay, you need to release 
This is the need to release a, a broken heart or some sort of betrayal, okay? Um, it's almost like, right, so if we're, if we're talking about a love situation, which we could be here, um, and it seems like we are now that we've got a, a three of swords in reverse, okay, this is the need to release something. All right, you've been thinking maybe long and hard about this because this person may have made some sort of offer to you, but let's talk about the page, okay? Because the page is a little man or a little woman. This is an immature person. This is young person. This is not a person who seems to really be ready to take something serious, okay? So that would put you in the contemplative mode of like, look, I need to, I, I want to see this from a different perspective, but I can't. Why? Because I need to release this. I need to let it go. All right. So I feel like somebody might be coming here like, hey girl, hey, or hey boy, hey, um, I want to make an offer to you, but guess what? It's just a little bitty thing because I know I done messed up in the past here with my player ways and you want to move forward. Okay. I think you guys want to move away from this energy because you want to be happy. Um, and this person kind of coming back and forth, making offers, it confuses you a little bit. So you need to like see this from a different perspective. And the perspective I feel like you guys are seeing it is that you have a need to heal here. A heal from a betrayal, a heartbreak, whatever it is. Now, if we're looking at this like a job situation or something else that, you know, you're involved in in your life, you're feeling this creative spark, you want to move forward. You're looking for that 10 of pentacles, the place that pays you well, where you can be um, free to be creative and inspired. You're getting an offer here that you have to think about, but you may turn down the offer because they're not offering you enough money, if that makes sense, okay? Or they're not offering you the kind of stability or something that you're looking for, all right? Because look, we, we, you know, we can dream all day about what we really want and then we start getting offers, but it's like, look, I'm looking for the right thing here. I'm looking for a place to be creative and inspired where I can climb the ladder, you know what I'm saying? Move forward. I'm not stopped from, from getting this dough, you know, getting this, this, um, this tent, this new beginning that I'm looking for. And it's like something comes in and you think about it, but it's not really what truly what sets you on fire maybe or what you really want okay tell me why the knight of wands is here please tell me why the knight of wands is here for cancer what's this knight of wands about i'm just gonna go ahead and clarify yeah i think some of you thought that this person that you were with was like your person um there's a spiritual and emotional outpouring okay uh they could have maybe they were a bit a bit of a like a, an emotional manipulator here they were fun they were sexy they were really super cute really passionate maybe being really romantic they might have love bombed you or something like that okay maybe you really felt a deep connection with this person tell me why else the knight of wands is here now if we're talking about um you know what your state is right now as far as you uh and what you really want you really want to do something you really love that feels emotionally fulfilling to you okay and you're looking for that we have the victory the six of wands here but this is all about being recognized as well it's about taking center stage people paying attention to you so you could be like looking real fine and real good right now and doing real real nice and you know people are noticing you okay but if we're talking about a situation where you might have been dealing with a player i don't know that this person they might have acted as if they acknowledged you but i don't know that they truly did okay i don't know they might have seen your value and your worth at first but if this person is a player sometimes they'll use that in order to kind of suck a person in why is a chariot here please for cancer <clears throat> two of wands deciding your direction moving forward making a choice second step and the hermit needing to be alone needing to contemplate virgo energy okay again you have aries leo sagittarius here so really wanting to make a decision and move forward with it but needing to be alone or feeling alone wanting to be alone so that you can kind of 
examine, use your wisdom going forward, okay? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Cancer? Well, well, well. Oh, boy. Mm. You might have come to a place where you need to make a decision or you're at a stalemate here with the Two of Swords. This is being up in your head, up in your head. Sorry. It's a zombie song. Um, and the Queen of Swords. This feels to me like you've made a decision to end something or cut something out. I think because there was a lack of honesty here. Okay. Because the Queen of Swords is not a Queen of Cups. Let's make that clear. She is like, oh, hell no. Okay. So this is you, sir or madam, being like, hell no. I need to make a decision here. Something ain't clear. I need the damn truth. She can be very demanding and like, no, 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 no. I need to know what's up with this relationship. Okay. I need to, I need the truth here. So there's an element of maybe some deception. You know what? Let me get an overall energy. Now, let me use this deck. Let me get an overall energy. What's the overall energy of this reading here, Spirit? What's the overall energy of this reading for Cancer? What's the overall energy here? <clears throat> Work, eight of pentacles, work, apprenticeship, going back to school, learning something, okay? So could be that you guys are learning some sort of lesson right now. It's possible. It's possible. But you're making a decision. And you could be at a stalemate making this decision too. But if you look really carefully, there's the moon behind her and there's water behind her. So yes, it is a decision that it's like, head over heart but there's still emotion there this is still an emotional thing that needs to be decided with the moon there it's like using the intuition closing the eyes almost in a sense hoping for the best right spirit tell me about this page of pentacles that's here please why is the page of pentacles here for cancer this flipped over and then it flipped all the way over yeah two of cups so like a very small sort of Hmm, think I want to be committed. Love offer coming here with the Two of Cups, okay? Anything else about this Page of Pentacles, please, for Cancer? Six of Pentacles, yeah, but see, here it comes, like, what's the equal give and take, right? Is this person going back and forth? Are they seeing somebody else? Maybe they're not giving to you the way you need to have given to you, okay? But we have this offer coming through. It's an offer of love. It's an offer of coming together. It's the Two Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it comes with the Six of Pentacles. So something, there's maybe a need here, and what this new little offer of stability is, is that I'm going to equally give and take with you, okay? Because there may have been an issue with that in the past. Tell me why the hanged man is here, please. <laughs> King of Swords. Unemotional. Um, somebody is not emotional about this offer. I think they're very matter of fact. And that could be very much you, Cancer. I feel like somebody is coming with an offer and they're like, hey, you know, here's what I want to do. I'm going to be a better giver. I'm going to be fair to you. Um, I want to be fair to you when it comes to love. But this person very well, I mean, the first card that came out is the Knight of Wands. They're showing up like the player. Um now the eight of pentacles fell out here so it's like you want to see things from a new perspective but from an unemotional place and and work okay so maybe it's this person who wants to put in put in the work i'm not sure here but this is all about learning something it's about going to school educating yourself uh working hard burning the candle at both ends not being afraid to do that okay um, but tell me why this Eight of Pentacles is here with this. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here with this? Who is this? Just forewarning you guys, um, the blowers are here. They outside like they always are. Okay, we got the shadow side. So this is like the devil card. There's some sort of, okay, so maybe, 
let's talk about a couple of different scenarios. Maybe why this is showing up is because there's some attachment here. There's something that you, Cancer, like you want to keep working on things and you maybe need to see this from an unemotional perspective because maybe you've been sort of the caretaker, like you're the fixer, you're the one who's doing all of these things. This could very much be codependency for me because this guy is working, learning, working, learning, working. He's being the apprentice. It's a person who's always putting work in. That says to me either you are just an absolute workaholic and you bury yourself in work and that's why the devil's here, or this is like a codependent situation. And I think you might be trying to emotionally detach here with the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy and see things from a different perspective. Why? Because there's a need to release somebody or some sort of heartbreak here. Tell me why the Three of Swords is here, please, for, for Cancer, almost the Capricorn, for Cancer. Tell me why the Three of Swords is here for Cancer. <clears throat> Yeah, so the Knight of Wands came out. There's a need to release somebody. <laughs> There's a need to let go a little ding-dong head here, okay? This is the dude who's like, let me see how many donuts I can spin on my dingling. I mean, you know, it could be a need to let go of ego too, but this for me is screaming, yeah, I need to let go of the player and set boundaries here, okay? Set boundaries, like you know, get this person out of here, so to speak, get them out of your mind, get them out of your heart. It's, it's, you know, it also shows me that you're feeling very inspired to kind of back this person off and get them out of your energy, if that makes sense. Okay, guys. Now, if we're talking about a job, okay, if we're talking about something else in your life, be it a job or whatever, um, we talked about this inspiration and deciding, right, deciding what you want to do, you spend some time alone, you've kind of decided what it is that you want to do for yourself, you know, your happiness is a 10 of pentacles, you're being very honest with yourself, but you need to make important decisions, all right, important decisions might have to do with the job offer coming through. It looks like something you love, but something is not balanced here. Maybe you're not being paid fairly or offered a fair amount of money. All right. Trying to th see things from a new perspective. Um, you know, truth is, uh, you have the opportunity to learn something different here. Maybe it might even take you back to school, but there's a devil in the details. Okay. There's a fear here. There's a fear that you guys have here with the shadow side or a devil in the details. You might release this um, because maybe some other sort of offer ends up coming through for you. Um, maybe you're also fighting for this position as well here because you do feel really good and you do feel very inspired. All right. So I do see some sort of work and or education coming through for many of you. And that could be what this building blocks is about. The piece that we had in the beginning tells me a lot about this situation here with the three of swords, the need to let go of somebody who might have just been uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a lot of that energy here, um, making you have to fight, you know, uh, making you have to fight for your independence. Uh, making you feel like you were sort of like a second choice, like they kind of went back and forth with you, okay? Letting this player go, Knight of Wands, like letting this, releasing this player uh, and, you know, setting boundaries so that they don't keep coming back, all right? Let's go ahead and take a look at my Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards and see if we have any other energies here that Spirit wants to talk about today. All righty, guys. All right, Spirit, any other messages here for Cancer, please? Someone rising Venus and the Cross Watcher. Anything else Cancer needs to know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we have out trickery. Boom, and it's green. This has to do with the heart chakra, okay? So somebody is not being who they say they are they're playing games with you they've been tricking you whatever that is this could be a friendship energy that's around you it doesn't have to just be a relationship so take it as it resonates for you but there's somebody around you and this energy feels bittersweet 
okay? It feels bittersweet. It's hard to talk about maybe. Um, maybe you don't feel like talking about it with somebody. We do have the blue color here, which represents the throat chakra. So you could feel a little bit shut down in wanting to really communicate, okay? Maybe deep in your heart, you know that this has been a game. This feels bittersweet because this person may feel like a, a soulmate energy. Some of you have dropped into complacency just dealing with this shit, okay? And it's like, here I am, you know, this is what's happening, um, you know, and I feel like spirit is calling for you to deal with the complacency. It's like, get up and do something just because it's old, just because it feels like something is over does not mean that we have to sit here in acceptance of that in a way where we don't do anything with our lives. Let whatever experience is coming through right now inspire you, okay? This also tells me we have the base chakra that might be off or kind of closed down. We have the heart chakra that's you know, off or closed down right now. And we have the throat chakra. So these are three things that you guys can pay attention to. Okay. So you might be feeling a little bit of insecurities, right? Through the base chakra, like you don't feel safe or you don't feel um, like, because the base chakra has to do with, um, I deserve, like I am here, I'm here and I have a purpose and I deserve to be here. I have the right to be here. Okay. Um, so that feel, that sense of self, that feeling of security, right. And our heart chakra is love. I am love. I am loved receiving, giving. Okay. So there might be some, some energy there that needs healing too. And then with the throat chakra, it's like, I'm heard, you know, um, but maybe you're not being heard. Maybe you're experiencing that energy of being shut down. Okay. So these are three different chakras you can look at. There are a lot of meditations that you can use online to support you. Plus you can use, um, different stones. You can do energy work, visualization of all the colors and you know the chakras spinning and opening up you can wear these colors and you can also eat these colors so blue green and red for you guys all right okay all right cancer thank you so much for being here these are the messages i have for you for the next couple of weeks i hope you guys like them um if you like this video please go ahead and like this video and if you really really like it please go ahead subscribe and become part of the tribe guys i will see you in august bye